Accessing the resolution setting is quite simple. Press the function button here in the center to access the function menu. And all the way at the bottom, you can just scroll all the way down or scroll up to get down to the bottom option. And this gives you different options for resolution. By default, it's set to large, which is the highest resolution, 10 megapixels this camera can produce. You can, if you want, choose six megapixels in M1, M2 is four megapixels, M3 is two megapixels, and small is really great if you're taking pictures that you really just want to email. You won't have to resize these images once you've downloaded them to your computer. You can just immediately email them or post them to a website. Some websites you may want to shrink them even more, but most websites this will be just fine. It's a very small file size and good resolution. The other two options you have, if you press the right navigation button again, you'll get to two megapixel date stamp, which means on this image, you can choose to imprint the date and time on the picture itself. So not only is the date and time always recorded as part of the image file, but here it will actually be printed on the image. So usually I really don't like to use this because I don't, I don't like the date and time. With all digital cameras, the date and time is saved as part of the image and I can always get that information if I want it, but um, this will actually print the date and time. I don't like that very much, but you can decide what you wanna do. Press the right navigation button again and you get to widescreen. What this does is basically just cut off the top and bottom to make it the ratio of 35 millimeter. So it's high resolution, but you're not gonna, you're gonna cut the top and the bottom a little bit so that it fits on a four by six picture very nicely, just as 35 millimeter would fit. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.